Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Sorry for the delay, I haven't been uploading for a few months now and it is not even well. Okay, but I am making a slight change in the way that I want to make videos in this channel and also how I am posting on my blog, uh, so I hope you'll still find it interesting, though the subject will for the most part be how to be nice waste and plastic and that sort of thing. Also there will be fashion related stuff, it's nothing to do with that. But since my interest has changed to the better, so I think, which is zero waste, no plastic and how to um, generally just not generate as much plastic as one would have in the normal life. Um, so I hope that you find this interesting and this whole will also concern um, zero waste and things that I bought over the past month um, that is helping me do so. So let's just get started. So I went to a flea market yesterday, really really huge one, and we're looking for things that would help us minimize waste, though we got some things also that were just really really pretty. As you may know I am a huge sucker for silverware, uh, knives, forks, spoons, everything. Two knives yesterday um, in sterling silver, they're just really really elegant this one is a little bit broken but that we may be able to fix um but the pattern is just gorgeous this has a shell on it and this has um some small wiggity doodles um but they're still sharp which is a huge huge plus we don't have um to switch out the blade or not to keep the original blade um and these were packaged and transported and everything zero waste and plastic free since the one we bought from he was also really into it so that was just a huge plus for us um, but yeah really really pretty and I got these both of them were well, they were 50 pound, uh, 15 pounds altogether so that was a good buy da, 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 da. we also bought was something that I have had my eyes on uh, for the past few uh, past half year or something uh, every time I went to a flea market, though they were massively overpriced, so I wouldn't want to get one. But it is this um, toasted bread holder, or somebody used it for envelopes or whatever one would want. But I would love to use it for bread. Um, when you're hosting a brunch, you can have small pieces of toasted bread in, um, and it is wood and steel, so that's lovely. And this is. Um, super retro from the 60s I believe so that's lovely and this was three pounds so it was durable this was not my buy this was what my boyfriend got but it was so great I just have to include it in the video too he got two of them but I only have one to show um, it's a cow horn so the last thing I got from the flea market is right behind me it is this educational poster about plants and how they look on the inside and small bits. Um, and this was £20, I believe, something around there. Um, but I believe it to be so much more valuable. So I'm just going to have it back here. Maybe one day I'll sell it even further. So, yeah. But uh, it looks so pretty in the background. I'll do a close up for you. Along, shall we? Got something else which is not from the flea market, these is a few months back, but we started using these as drinking bottles um, in the spirit of zero waste instead of using plastic drinking bottles as one may see everyone uh, do. This is lemonade flasks from a lemonade company called uh, Galvania. Galvania? Uh, it's an Italian brand, and we got them in Sustomigraine though I'm not sure where else to find them but they're quite specific um, and really really beautiful they have a lot of pattern on writing and a little car um, but yeah we have two three something of them um, and we fill these up with water whenever we go somewhere so delightful then I got something from Ikea I'm not really proud of that but it was the best place to find them and I will uh, I recommend you also going there if this is your interest. Instead of using tin foil or aluminium or something like that, we've bought. Oh, maybe 
maybe not thousands, of these uh, glass containers, which is super, super handy. Um, you can re restore food in here, uh, leftovers, they go in the fridge, they, we use them for dry things like flour or sugar or uh, pasta, we have them in different sizes, um, of course. Um, but they're very, very cheap. This was £1.2, something like that. Nothing, basically. Um, and I think we have 20. The last thing I got in the Zero Waste Spirit was something I got from Third Field uh, in a collaboration. You can read more about it on the blog soon. But it is this eraser. Um, this is Gift from Heaven. I cannot even begin to explain it. You can switch out the blade, uh, of course, and buy new blades, um, but it's all metal, steel, um, and really, really environmental friendly. So I love this, and it's also really feminine looking. And in it, it was, I do believe, £25, something like that, £27. Um, so not really expensive compared to how much we pay for disposable razors. Um, that can also be crazy expensive. So I'll strongly recommend using this, also just for the ladies. Um, it is one bladed, though I do not see that as a problem, it's a thousand times shorter. Um, and it works on the legs, I can tell you that. It's so lovely. Um, you can read more about that on the blog and I hope that you enjoyed my little zero waste haul. If you want to see more of these, please leave a comment down below, tell me if this was in your interest or not. Uh, I surely hope it was. Uh, other than that, stay cool and I hope that you will subscribe to my uh, channel if you find this interesting somewhere down here. Do that, please. You can also follow me on Instagram, Gita Mary and Facebook, facebook.com slash the picture of Mary. Or, of course, get married to come if you want to see my blog. Have a really nice day, guys. Bye!